Ariana, your tarot life coach, bringing you your tarot scope for the week of the 25th through the 1st. What's up, family? I hope you guys are doing super fantabulous that this new moon <laughs> is just bringing you some new energy because Virgo season was rough. I don't know about anybody else, but Virgo season got me. I'm ready for Libra season. And maybe not. Libras are always so indecisive. What's up, air signs? Big, big hugs. Lots and lots of love. High fives. Some damn dirty shoulder rubs. Space on the booty for you Libras celebrating these birthdays. And some kisses on them cheeks. And I mean the back ones. All right? How you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing super, super good. I'm super excited to do this read this week. It is going to be focusing on the Maboon energy, which is today... We are entering into the autumn equinox, okay? So we are getting into longer nights and shorter days. However, on the other side of the hemisphere, we got it going the opposite. We're going to spring. So with that being said, this read is going to focus on the shifting of seasons, all right? So depending on where you're at, you can adjust this whichever way you like. And remember, if you're interested in the cards that I use, you can always look in the description box. I'll kind of try to remember to tell you which ones they are as we go through them. However, we got our mind, body, and soul. We got our carobs ready. We got everything ready to go. This read is for Gemini, Aquarius, and birthday Libra. Look, it's so sexy. Uh, sun, moon, and rising. I hope you are, guys are ready. I'm super, super pumped. Um, also, big, big hugs and thank you to all your likes, your shares, your subscribes. And guys, in case I forget to tell you, I am running a special right now on video reads. It's you can buy one for 25 and you get the other one for 10 and it comes out to be 35. Um, and it's you don't have to use them both at the same time. You can keep one for you and give one to your boo, however you want to do it. All right, you just make sure that you explain to me who, what, where, when, and why, and I'm ready to go. All right, with that being said, we pulled out the Shaman's Oracle. We haven't used this one in a long time. Representative of what's going on in your pretty, pretty little mind. And that is going to be the rabbit totem, guys. Anything you start now is going to move forward in what? Leaps and bounds, baby. You are moving fast as a rabbit, fast as lightning, trusting your intuition, harnessing that moon-like energy. Both of these animals are very much tied to moon energy, very much tied to high priestess energy, which did show up when I was um, cutting the cards for you earlier. So look for, look for the ancestor of tribes when you're going through the hardest of times. Acknowledge his presence for whatever comes because this is about humility, moving carefully with fertility, okay? Because you're super, super fertile. Some of y'all are probably about to pop out some babies or something because I've been seeing this coming for a while. And this is for you not to forget who you are. Now, in Native America, or uh, in their kind of culture, I don't know, I'm, I hope I don't offend anyone, um, it is called the fear caller. So you have to be very aware of what you are calling in because if you're harnessing that energy of fear, that is what you're going to bring in for this week or for this season. So it's very, very highly important that you really focus your intentions and you start really looking at, look at that um, intuition, start seeing like projecting it, manifesting what you truly want because that's the energy you desire, okay? Now, Physically, what we have is the flower of life. And in this card, it's all about patterns, okay? You are going to have the intuition, the fertility, the ability, the agility to break through those patterns in your life that have, have been holding you back or the things that are pushing you forward. However, it's going to blossom and your life is going to be moving into the right direction. Now, spiritually, you have Pueho, which is the Hawaiian owl, okay? And Pueho, I'm going to tell you all about ancestral spirit guides. Your spirit guides, just because I have ancestor in the front and ancestor in the back, boo, I'm going to tell you, your spirit guides are working nine to five. Yes, they are. It's a way to make a living. They are barely getting by because you are not listening, okay? Because you were the high priestess reverse when I cut the deck, baby. And you were an eight of wands reversed. No, it was the eight of wands with the high priestess reversed. Yes, I wrote it down. So you, in order to move forward, we need to figure out how we're going to turn that high priestess around. Because if we add the eight plus the two, we get a ten, which becomes a one, which is your new beginning, baby. And you are on the verge of a new beginning. 
okay? <laughs> so with this being said, it's just time for you to reach towards your guides, seek their guidance. This is about meditation, protection, wisdom, knowledge, and really tapping into the unknown. Now, with that being said, your catalyst card for the month is into, for the month, for the week, I'm ready to do monthlies, is intuition. And these come from the Sacred Power deck from Anna Stark. I love these cards. You, you can go a lot by what she wrote because she writes so beautifully, but even just looking at it, it just looks like the bird or like the, the night eagle, which is what is referred to as the owl, is coming through with wisdom, discernment, and knowledge while it's just going towards the, you know, and then you have a pattern, you have the geometric shape in there which is telling you there's patterns in your life that you need to seek guidance on to move forward, all right? Now, this says look beyond the surface and listen carefully to your inner voice. Your inner voice is your higher self that's speaking to your spiritual guides. So whether you're praying with God, whether you're praying with your angels, praying with your ancestors, they are trying to speak to you and they're trying to get the message to you. Or are you going to listen is the question. So this is about paying attention to your third eye, to the visions, to the thoughts, to the things that are coming through, the downloads, the messages, and learning to trust it. Trusting your intuition, trusting your body, and trusting those urges and those things that say, ready, run, go, okay? And, or the things that say stop. So it's about staying clear and balanced and to maintain that accurate vision. That is going to be done through drinking lots and lots of water, doing cleanses. Some people do detoxes. Um, I think in this, the Christian faith, it's called, um, what are they? No, they're not detoxes. They call them fastings. Sometimes people fast for clarity. I do believe that it's time to do something different because the rabbit eats a lot of green food, Okay. And with that being said, it's time to kind of cleanse things out, clear out the body, take you a good salt bath and clear off some of that energy. And that's going to help you to be able to see patterns in your life and clear out that um, third eye area. OK, so whew, that is your mind, body, soul with a little bit of a, a sprinkle of pepper and salt up in them. OK, <laughs> now we're going to move on into your read. Now, it's going to be a kind of a short read. However, I did pull out our carobs. You know, it's been a while because this is our family. Now, as I was um, shuffling your cards, I told you the high priestess came out. It was the eight of pentacles, okay? The eight of pentacles had came out. And it's an eight. That's all I can remember. I wrote eight high priestess. There are some things that need to be learned, some things that need to be seen because the high priest is being reversed. I really feel that's why we have the tuition card coming in. You see all that purple? I want to get a closer look to that, that eye. And when I was looking at this card, the song that came to my head, and y'all are going to laugh at me, um, Jimmy Cliff, okay? I can see clearly now the rain is gone. Girl, I was dancing up in here. I was like, I can see all the obstacles in my way. Baby, you can see it all is what I'm saying. You're going to be able to see every gosh darn damn thing in the world that's in your way, whether it's in the spiritual realm, in the physical realm, is gone and let the water cleanse it. All right. So with that being said, let's bless our deck. Saints to chill bless this deck for Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the week of the 25th through the first. Show us the energy that's coming in with the autumn equinox. Deep breath. <sighs> Whew. And that is a great song to shuffle to. I'm going to tell you, I was jamming on out. Now, as I cut the deck right now, I have the Three of Cups reversed with the Eight of Pentacles reversed. So that doesn't mean negativity, guys. This is kind of like a warning. Like, don't overindulge and don't keep doing the same things that are not working for you because an eight is about movement. It's about growth. It's about communication. And you're not doing it right right now, okay? Because we're caught up in some emotional stuff, okay? Let's get a good shuffle. I need some shuffling music. I should I should get some, but I have been deemed so much on YouTube from like having music in my stuff, like for my personal videos, that now I'm like even scared to do anything because like they'll dock your channel and remove you. <laughs> Got a six up in the house. All right, in our first position, we have the Carib of Arrows, bringing in knowledge, unconditional love, and I'm going to say just the presence 
of angelic form, okay? Because your guides are speaking loud, okay? So you need to keep this in your life. The sunshine, baby, because we're going to see clearly now. You got to get rid of this. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. Mm, put that over there. We got to shine on this and meditate on this. Look at you being the damn dirty magician. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you, this is going to be an interesting week. You have the chariot as your overall energy. And that is one, a motherfucking victory, friend. That is you riding off into the sunset on a damn dirty car. All right. And we have the six of cups right behind it. So I'm going to pull those two cards out just to add a little bit more to the read. A lot of times, if you ever get a read from me, sometimes I'll tell you the whole read from the bottom of the deck. Just because there's so much... I don't know, I guess allegory or like picture messages that I pick up when I look at things. Now, immediately, air signs, you are dealing with something this equinox or this season that you don't want to leave behind. You're so tired of things being the same, but you kind of want the same thing, but you don't know how to leave it and you don't know what to do. And you're in control of that. Okay. So with that being said, what to harvest is har what to harvest is the sun. And I feel like this is you with a hell yes. You need to work on going and getting what the hell you want. The horse is about fertility. The horse is about movement. The horse is about energy. And you have this horse running through your reed. And I kind of feel like this is you on top of the game saying, get the hell out of my way, okay? Yes, and you probably have a fire sign in the mix with you. And it's either fire or water is what I'm picking up, okay? Now, with that being said, that's a lot of action over emotional situations, all right? We've got to get rid of this Eight of Cups situation. Whether you're neglecting yourself, because the sun by this makes me think of self, like self-care. We need more self-care. You need to start taking care of your mind, your body, your soul, drinking more water, not drowning in the emotions, but drinking more water and more exercise. There's a lot of physical movement in this. We got horseback riding, we got swimming, and we got, we're, we're going to call this boxing, okay? <laughs> <laughs> and then we have relaxation at the end. So it's going to be very important that you take care of your body this um, this season, okay? Now, shining on this is a conflict. So there is some conflict I feel that you're neglecting and we really need to face that conflict. We really need to conquer that conflict, whether it's inner conflict outer conflict, whatever it is in your situation, okay? Now, if you're new to my channel, a lot of times I will not do predictions during the week. This is about energy more than it is predictions until we get to the end, all right? But however, I really like for us to work on our own intuition and kind of see these cards and kind of feel what you think you're picking up from them. When I see the snake eating the plant in this card, I almost feel like this is you wanting to change something about you, right? Because the snake is about transformation and change. So you're going to eat better. You're going to do things differently and you're going to get out of this emotional turbulence. Okay. Now meditate on this. Why would we want to meditate on this? And look who it's by. It's by the carob of disc, which is all about manifestation. If you are the magician, okay, you can create anything. Look at all this fish. Fish is about fertility. So you have a very fertile mind and it is time, baby. It is time to create the life you want, create the way that create the things that you want and desire in your life. Now, with that being said, six of cups energy with the chariot, a horse again. Six of cups represents children, pleasure, happiness, joy, uh, damn good, damn good time over here. We got some drinking, we got a little bit of love making. What is that song? Um, oh, oh, something about shake your trees with the peaches. I don't know. I used, I'm a joker. I'm a smoker. That's what this song just popped in my head. I'm a midnight toker. Yep, that's you. You're having the time of your life because you won. You have two cards in your read that say victory. Three cards that say that you are in total, utter control of how this conflict is handled. Okay? I am going to clarify this conflict. Even though it is bright in front of the carob of cups, I'm going to say it's an emotional conflict. Okay? This is why I, I like using my carobs. I love them. They're our family. All right. It's going to be a foundational conflict. I just rolled a four. Damn. This is your season. <laughs> and it's about.
about making a decision that you've been having trouble making it about. Whether it's about travel, whether it's about a move, the decision and the time is now, my friend. Look at all those majors. This is going to be a season of change. Your life is not going to look the same. Okay, we have the sun, the chariot, the wheel, the magician, and all of them are about things moving in the right direction and they're all upright. Okay, but it's all about a situation that you're having trouble making that decision about because judgment is reversed. And then right behind judgment is the damn dirty fool. So this is about your new beginning. This is about you trying something different. But in order for you to move forward this season, you got to use your intuition. You've got to connect with your guides and you got to listen to what they're telling you. Because if you don't, you're going to get stuck right here. And that's not where you really want to be. Okay? I don't think you do. I want to be with the Six of Cups, not the Eight of Cups. I don't really want to be with the Eight of Cups. I don't really like to be neglected. <laughs> so, if you're looking for um, a weekly update, okay, other than just what the season is going to bring you, whatever you're thinking about in a situation, about a movement, about an emotional situation, the time is now. You are in full and utter control. It is time to face the conflict head on because you will manifest your destiny and manifest the ending that you want, okay? Now, whew. In relationships, I am using the wisdom of the oracle. And for this season, it is what? An eight. And it's about the fates, okay? You can't change who people are, okay? Just accept it and move on. Be happy with you and let them be happy with them. And if you can come together, then, then you can begin, right? You can start your thing. But this is a time to look at how you attempt to mold people to fit your view of how they should be so you can remain in this relationship and avoid discomfort. What if who they are, this is what they're telling you, and whatever is happening between you and them in this situation is perfect from the perspective of spirit. Bum, bum, bum. That is that spirit guide. They've been knocking at your door. Love unconditionally for each of us is on our own journey. Be aware that this relationship is indeed faded and you are meant to evolve into a better version of yourself as a result of it. And that's why your little spirit guides are working nine to five. Yeah, yo. I'm excited tonight. I think it's all the coffee I drank. Anyways, <laughs> to tie your read up, we are using the Sacred Sights card. And this is called the Leo Needle, which is all about entanglement, baby. This is, I strictly think that whatever the relationship you're dealing with, because I feel like this is about a relationship, leaving a situation or moving, okay? You have been in the past. It says, Aloha, welcome. The octopus awaits to ensnare you. It's very well going with the flow, but where is your caution, okay? When did you last test the waters before jumping in? I'm telling you, you need to listen to that song, okay? I can see clearly now. Perhaps there's a part of you that likes to get involved in things just to get involved in people's drama. The best thing for you to is allow the eye of Kanaloa, the Hawaiian god of the ocean and healing, to boost your physical, mental, and emotional issue energies as you access its powers by the means of meditative gaze, okay? It's time for you to stop getting wrapped up in people's what I like to call bullshit, okay? Get out of their shit and get into your shit. And that way you can get your victory because you can't control other people, baby. You can only control the way you react. You can only control what's in your circle, okay? Now, in the present, it says you find that you cause others to tremble when they witness one of your outbursts. Oh, no, not you, air sign. Are you acting a fool? I hope not. Do you realize the impact you have on other people? This is telling you to hold back and look at the consequences of your actions. Although the very beautiful and sacred Leo Valley is cloaked in tropical vegetation, there is a damn volcano there, okay? Consider leaving the scene of any conflict. And that's what the Five of Wands was telling you, right? Like, uh-uh, you need to handle it with love because it was the Carib of Cups. But face it. It says, instead of erupting, when it seems safe to do so, simply seize your opportunity to walk away serenely with your head held high, leaving you manifesting your new beginning. Now, this beautiful woman right here, this is the unpredictable goddess Pele, and she welcomes you. 
She wants you to know if you can admit that you have the tendencies to be maybe jealous, aggressive, and capable of sudden rage or even violence. Well, gosh darn it, man. You must release these people in your life. These are people or this is you, okay? If someone is bringing this energy out and you realize that this, this relationship was brought in so that you could change, so that you could evolve and see that, oh, maybe this isn't for me. This is not my cup of tea. I'm going to choose to drink some damn coffee, okay? Or vice versa. Now... Perhaps you're the one who's scared and controlled in a relationship. And if so, then it would be wise for you to call upon the goddess of Pele to ignite your courage and strengthen you with her fire to enable you to walk away from an unhealthy situation. This is the season, and I don't mean Christmas, baby. This is your season. I feel like I'm at church, and I'm just like, mm -hmm, for you to walk away from what it is that's been holding you back from your destiny. Okay, and with that being said, your crystal is tourmaline. Mm -hmm. Unity, love, protection. Love energies are most often realized through expression. Overcome grief, sorrow, and other traumatic memories, and it encourages the unity of male and female energies to bring about balance and steadiness. The yin and the yang, baby. It's protection, all right? It encourages and stimulates energy flow and overall healing. It's great for calming the nervous tension. It's good for the imbalance. And drawing in this card indicates it's time to move towards to UNITY with all things. Connect with nature and let the cycle of life bring you balance and wisdom. Dumb. And that is what this season has for you. All right, air signs. I hope that this made sense for you. If you have a piece of tourmaline, I would say carry it in your pocket, put it in your booby, but put it somewhere, baby, because we got to clear that negative energy so that our intuition will come in strongly. Remember to meditate during this season also because your spirit guides are working over time. All right, my lovelies, I hope that you enjoyed this read. Be blessed and hit me up, all right? If you'd like that special, email me at arianaluciano at gmail.com or on the gram at arianaluciano. Be blessed, fam.